it is 15th of august 2020th and the day is saturday class 9th auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim rabbishrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma assalam alaikum students i hope you will be fine today we have to do the unit number 12 that is 3 days to see written by helen killer students seeing is believing but sometimes believing without seeing is surprising before start to lesson i want to share something with you about helen killer that she was at the age of 2 means at 19 months helen killer became deaf and blind she lived in a world of silence and darkness she spent the rest of her life struggling to break through it but the, uh, with the help of her teacher any sullivan helen learned to read write and do amazing things so let's start our lesson 3 days to see with pre reading questions question number 1 is what does the title suggest student says a blind woman helen killer she desires to have a power of seeing for only 3 days she discusses what she will do in these 3 days she also tells us how we the seeing people do not use our eyes properly but she also tells us how can we use them in a better way question number 2 is have you ever heard about helen killer yes i have heard about helen killer from my teacher question number 3 is do you know any person who is deprived of sight share your information students it's up to you you have to do yourselves so let's start our lesson with paragraph 1 Sometimes I have thought that it would be an excellent rule to live each day as if we die tomorrow. Such an attitude would emphasize sharply the values of life. We should live each day with gentleness, vigor, and a keenness of of appreciation, which is often lost when time stretches before us. in the constant panorama of more days and months and years to come the there are those of course who would adopt the epicurean motto of eat drink and be merry but most people would be chastened by the certainty of impending death excellent that is an adjective and its synonym is great rule that is a noun and its synonym is principle attitude that is a noun and its synonym is way of thinking emphasize that is a uh, verb and its synonym is very uh, emphasizes uh, on our uh, stress sharply that is an adverb and its synonym is strongly values that is a noun and its synonym is standards gentleness that is a noun and its synonym is kindness vigor that is a noun and its synonym is energy keenness that is a noun and its synonym is enthusiasm appreciation that is a noun and its synonym is understanding stress that is a noun and its synonym is extends before us constant that is a, an adjective and its uh, synonym is continuous panorama that is a noun and its synonym is open view in all directions of course that is an adverb and its synonym is certainly adopt that is a verb and its synonym is choose epicurean motto students like the motto principle of greek philosopher epicurus uska kehna tha that a life of player fine food khushi lazzat umda gza comfort आराम एंड लग्जरीज लिविंग इन दिस द बेस्ट उसके कहने के मुताबिक आरामदेह जिंदगी उमदा गजा 
ऐश की जिंदगी बेहतरीन होती है सो इन दिस पैराग्राफ द राइटर सेज दैट इट वुड बी वेरी फाइन इफ द इफ द लिविंग पीपल थिंक दैट द नेक्स्ट डे दे वुड डाई इट वुड ब्रिंग टू देम यू ट्रू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड लाइफ एंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ लाइफ वी जर्नली डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वैन वी थिंक एंड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लिव फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सम पीपल डू नॉट थिंक सीरियसली ऑफ लाइफ एट ऑल सो दे ओनली वॉन्ट टू इंजॉय द पासिंग टाइम पैराग्राफ नंबर टू इज इन स्टोरीज द डोम्ड हीरो इज यूजली सेव्ड एट द लास्ट मिनट बाय सम स्ट्रोक ऑफ फॉर्चून बट ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज हिज सेंस ऑफ वैल्यूज इज चेंज ही बिकम्स मोर एप्रिशिएटिव ऑफ द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ एंड इट्स परमानेंट स्पिरिचुअल वैल्यूज इट हैज ऑफन बीन नोटेड दैट दोज हु लिव और हैव लाइव लाइव इन द शेडो ऑफ डेथ ब्रिंग अ मीलो स्वीटनेस टू एवरी थिंग दे डू डोंट दैट इज अ वर्ब एंड इट्स एन एम इज लकलेस इल फेटेड एट लास्ट मिनट दैट इज एन एड वर्ब एंड इट्स एन एम इज एट द वेरी एंड स्ट्रोक दैट इज अ नाउन एंड इट्स एन एम इज एक्शन हिट फॉर्चून दैट इज अ नाउन एंड इट्स एन एम इज लक ऑलमोस्ट दैट इज एन एड वर्ब एंड इट्स एन एम इज नियरली सेंस दैट इज अ नाउन एंड इट्स एन एम इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग permanent that is an adjective and its synonym is unchanging spiritual values that is a noun and its synonym is spiritual standards in the shadow of that is an uh, adverb and death is a noun and its synonym is very close to that melu that is an adjective and its synonym is pleasant so in this paragraph the hero in the stories hero in the stories who get saved at the end by good luck understanding spiritual standards and this importance of life hero kahaniyon mein aksar khush kismati se bach jata hai aur wo kehta hai ki zindagi ke ye jo standard hai aur isko wo samajh bhi jata hai standard ko jo maut ke khauf se zindagi guzarte hain basar kar lete hain har kaam अपना अच्छे तरीके से बेहतर करना पसंद करते हैं दोज हु लिव इन दी डेंजर ऑफ डेथ लाइक टू डू एवरी थिंग वेल सो लेट स्टार्ट पैराग्राफ नंबर थ्री पैप्स आई कैन बेस्ट इल स्टेट बाय इमेजिनिंग वट आई शुड मोस्ट लाइक टू सी इफ आई वर गिवन द यूज ऑफ माय आईज से फॉर जस्ट थ्री डेज पर हैप्स दैट इज एन एडवर्ब एंड इट्स एन एन एम इज मे बी इलेस्ट्रेट that is a verb and its synonym is explain with examples imagining that is a verb and its synonym is thinking say that is a verb and its synonym is think or suppose paragraph number 4 is on the first day i should want most to see the people whose kindness gentleness and companionship have made my life worth living so next paragraph number 4 on the first day i should want most to see the people whose kindness gentleness and companionship have made my life worth living worth living that is an adjective and its synonym is good to be lived or uh, good for it companionship that synonym is company so in this paragraph on the first day of her imaginary sight helen keller would like to see those who have benefit benefited her uh, well she would like to see those uh, whose kindness gentle ways and company have made her life so good and uh, enjoyable next paragraph number 5 the next day the second day of sight i should arise with the dawn and see the thrilling michael by which night is transformed into day i should be hold with a uh, the magnificent panorama of life with which a uh, with the sun awakens the sleeping earth arise is a verb and uh, its synonym is get up dawn is a noun and its synonym is the beginning of the day thrilling that is an adjective and its synonym is moving miracle that is and uh, noun that is a noun and its synonym is wonder transform that is a verb and its synonym is change behold that is a verb and its synonym is see or observe or uh, oh 
दैट इज़ नाउन एंड इट्स एन एम इज फेयर एंड आल्सो रिस्पेक्ट मैग्निफिश मैग्निफिसेंट दैट इज़ एन एडजेक्टिव एंड इट्स सन एन एम इज ब्यूटिफुल एंड ग्रेंड और स्प्लेंडिड अवेकन्स दैट इज़ अ वर्ब एंड इट्स एन एन एम इज वेक्स अप दिस सन अवेकन्स द स्लीपिंग अर्थ हेलन किलर सूरज और ज़मीन को कहती है ये लोगों की तरह है प्रेजेंट्स द सन एज ए पर्सनस हेयर शी यूज पर्सनिफिकेशन प्रेजेंटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स और क्वालिटीज एज ए पर्सनस शी शोज द सन गेटिंग अप फ्राम हिज स्लीप वेन दे आर थे स्टिल स्लीपिंग वो कहती है सूरज को अपनी नींद से बेदार होते हुए दिखाती है कहती है जबकि ज़मीन तो एज यूजल स्टिल स्लीपिंग है सूरज जो है वो ज़मीन को जगा देता है विद इट्स ब्राइट रेज सो नेक्स्ट वी स्टार्ट पैराग्राफ नंबर सिक्स दिस डे आई शुड डिवोट टू आ हिस्ट्री ग्लेम्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पास्ट एंड प्रेजेंट आई शुड वॉन्ट टू सी देजेंट ऑफ मेन्स प्रोग्रेस द के लाइट डिस्कोप ऑफ द एज How can so much be compressed into one day through the museums of the course? Devote is a verb, and its synonym is set aside or apart. History that is an adjective, and its synonym is quick glimpse. That is a noun, and its synonym is a look at something. Uh, pageant that is a noun, and its synonym is uh, grand public show, or uh, we can say presentation. के लाइडस्कोप दैट इज़ अ रोटेटिंग ट्यूब ऑफ कलर्ड ग्लास शोइंग चेंजिंग सीन्स द एज द एज दैट इज नाउन एंड इट्स एन एम इज डिफरेंट पीरियड्स इन हिस्ट्री कॉम्प्रेस दैट इज अ वर्ब एंड इट्स एन एम इज प्रेस टूगेदर आर प्रेस इन टू अ स्मॉलर स्पेस सो इन दिस पैराग्राफ शी सेज दैट आई शुड डिजर्व दिस स्टे फॉर अ क्विक लुक एट द पास्ट and present world i would like to see the grand scenes of the different periods i it can be done in one day through museums so next uh, we start the next paragraph the following morning i should greet the dawn and access to the uh, discover new delights for i'm sure that for those who have eyes which really see the dawn of each day must be perfectly new revelation of beauty this uh, according to the terms of my michael tuzo is to be my third and last day of sight following that is an adjective and its synonym is coming next greet is a verb and its synonym is welcome anxious uh, anxious that is an adjective and its synonym is very desirous discover that is a verb and its synonym is first to find out delights that is a noun and its synonym is joys pleasures for that is a conjunction and its synonym is because uh, revolution uh, that is a noun and its some uh, and its synonym synonym is something made noun is a strange or a new way according to that is a preposition and uh, its synonym is in agreement with terms that is a noun and its synonym is conditions sight that is a noun and its synonym is i set of the author the dawn of beauty helen killer thinks that people who use their eyes in a true way would find discover something beautiful new and strange at uh, dawn every day so students in this paragraph she says that the next morning i would uh, welcome the dawn to find new jobs joys it is uh, certain that seeing people find completely new and beautiful things at each turn uh, this must be the third last day of my magical sight paragraph number 8 is i shall have no time to waste in regret for longing there is so much to see the first day i devoted to my friends animate and uh, any in animate the second revel to me the history of man and nature today i shall spend in the work day world of present and the haunts of men going about the business of life and where can one find so many activities and conditions of men as in new york so the city becomes my destination 
regret that is a noun and its synonym is sorrow longing that is a noun and its synonym is deep desire uh, for uh, things missed devoted that is a verb and its synonym is set apart animate that is an adjective and its mean living having life in animate that is an adjective that is also an adjective and uh, its synonym is without life for exam uh, for example natural objects like the sun trees hills okay uh, revealed that is a verb and its synonym is show to her what was hidden from him uh, from him her from her nature that is a noun and its uh, synonym is all things in the universe not made by man work a day world that is a noun and its synonym is every day world of common matters aimed amid that is a preposition amid and its synonym is in the middle hunts that is a noun and its synonym is places which we often visit and stay in going about that is an adverb and its synonym is moving around doing uh, different things business of life that is a noun and its synonym is daily work or activities conditions that is a noun and its synonym is situations destination that is a noun and uh, uh, destination that is a noun and its synonym is good and so let's start paragraph number 9 now and then i have tested my so students uh, she says uh, she says in paragraph uh, number 8 that i shall be without much time now to express sorrow for the desires not completed i spent the first day with living and non living friends the second day opened to me the history of man and nature today i shall stay in the daily world of work with working people i shall see them at work in new york now my last stop अब कहती है कि ये न्यूयॉर्क में जो काम करते हुए देखूंगी ये मेरा लास्ट जो है ना मरहला होगा यहाँ पे मैं आके रुक जाऊंगी पैराग्राफ नंबर नाइन इज नाउ एंड देन आई हैव टेस्टेड माय सीइंग फ्रेंड्स टू डिस्कवर व्हाट दे सी रिसेंटली आई वाज विजिटेड बाय अ वेरी गुड फ्रेंड हु हैड जस्ट रिटर्न होम रिटर्न फ्राम अ लॉन्ग वॉक इन दूड्स आई आस हर वर्ड शी हैड ऑब्जर्व नथिंग इन पार्टिकुलर शी रिप्लाइड आई मच हैव बीन इनक्रेडुलस दैट हैड आई नॉट बीन अकस्टैम्ड टू सच रिस्पॉन्सिस फॉर लॉन्ग गो आई बिकेम कन्विंस दैट द सींग सी लिटल नाउ इन देन दैट इज एन एडवर्ब एंड इट्स एन एनम इज फ्राम टाइम टू टाइम रिसेंटली दैट इज एन एडवर्ब एंड इट्स एन एनम इज आर शार्ट टाइम गो short time go woods that is a noun and its synonym is small forests observed that is a verb and its synonym is seen in particular that is a an adverb and its synonym is particularly especially incredulous that is an adjective and its synonym is doubtful accustomed to that is an adverb and its synonym is verb to responses that is a noun and its synonym is replies convinced that is a verb and its synonym is made to feel sure so students in this paragraph now helen killer complains of her seeing friends and people do not understand and like what they see a very good friend of hers returned from a long uh, walk in the woods I means small forest her friend replied to her that she had not observed anything special there helen killer had heard other people also saying that they had not seen anything what talking about nature so she concluded that the seeing people see little wo kehti hai isme wo kehti hai ki apne complain karti hai apne friends ki wo kehti hai iski ek achhi dost jangal mein ek lambe safar ke baad wapas aayi uski dost ne usse jawab diya usne koi wahan khaas cheez nahi dekhi thi helen killer दूसरे लोगों को भी ये कह कहते हुए सुन चुकी थी कि उन्होंने कुदरत में कोई काबिल किदर चीज़ नहीं देखी कोई काबिल जिक्र चीज़ नहीं देखी लिहाजे उसने ये नतीजा निकाला कि ये जो देखने वाले लोग हैं बहुत कम देखते हैं अंडरस्टैंड डेक्स पैराग्राफ नंबर टेन इज हाउ वॉज इट पॉसिबल आई आस्क माई सेल्फ टू वोक फॉर एन आर इन दर्ड्स एंड सी मी एंड सी नथिंग वॉट थी ऑफ नोट आई हु कैन नॉट सी find hundreds of things to interest me through mere touch i feel the delicate 
symmetry of a leaf i pass my hands loving uh, lovingly on the smooth skin of a silvery birch on the rough shaggy bark of a pine in the spring i touch the branches of trees hopefully in search of a bird the first sign of awakening nature after her winter sleep i feel the delightful velvety texture of a flower and discover its remarkable convolutions and something of the miracle of nature is revealed to me accordingly i am if i am fortunate i place my head gently on a small tree and feel the happy quiver of quiver of a bird in full song i am delighted to have the cool waters to brook Mm, of a brook rush through my open fingers to me a lush carpet of pine needles a spongy grass is more welcome than the most luxurious persian rug to me the pageant of seasons is a thrilling and unending drama the action of which streams through my fingertips what do you of notes that is an adjective and its synonym is deserving to be noticed interest that is a verb and its synonym is be of interest mere that is an adjective and its synonym is only delicate that is an adjective and its synonym is soft and beautiful symmetry that is a noun and its synonym is balance and proportion between parts pass that is a verb and its synonym is move over or uh, around loving uh, lovingly lovingly that is an adverb and its uh, synonym is dearly about that is a ver- adverb that is an adverb and its uh, synonym is synonym is around smooth that is an adjective and its synonym is soft birch that is a noun and its synonym is a tree shaggy that is an adjective and its synonym is hair like I mean drakht ki jo chal hoti hai balu jaisi balu jaisi drakht ki chal bark that is a noun outer covering of a uh, tree outer covering of a tree pine that is a noun and its synonym is एन एवर ग्रीन ट्री जिसको स्नोबर का दरख्त उर्दू में कहा जाता है ये चीड़ का कहा जाता है होपफुली दैट इज एन एडवर्ब एंड इट्स सनम इज विद होप बर्ड दैट इज नाउन एंड इट्स सनम इज फ्लावर नॉट ओपन फुली ओपन मीन कली शगुफा अवेकिंग अवेकिंग दैट इज एन एडजेक्टिव एंड सनम इज वेकिंग अप डिलाइटफुल दैट इज एन एडजेक्टिव एंड इट्स सनम इज प्लेजिंग velvety that is an adjective and its synonym is soft and as a velvet silk cloth texture that is a noun and its synonym is arrangement of threads in a fabric remarkable that is an adjective and its synonym is unusual Convolu- convolutions that is an uh, that is a noun and its synonym is complications michael of nature that is an uh, that is a noun and its synonym is unusual happening in nature occasionally uh, that is an adverb and uh, its synonym is now and then fortunate that is an adjective and its synonym is lucky uh, quiver that is a verb and its synonym is trembling delighted that is a verb and its synonym is very much pleased brook that is a noun and its synonym is small stream rush that is a verb and its synonym is move very fastly In this paragraph, Helen Keller feels surprised at people saying that they seem little important in nature. So she finds she uh, so many interesting things in the woods. Uh, by just touching them, she appreciates, likes, and understands the lovely structure of leaves and trees as she passes her hands. पत्तों दरख्तों की खूबसूरत साख को कहती है जब मैं अपने उन पर हाथ फेरती है उनको सराहती है तो कहती है कि मौसम बहार में दरख्तों की शाखों को कहती है ऐसे लगता है जैसे वो कलियां तलाश करने के लिए छूती है वो कहती है सर्दियों की नींद के बाद कुदरत के जागने की इलामत है इसमें शी यूज पर्सनफिकेशन ओके नेचर अवे किंग आफ्टर हर लॉन्ग राइटर स्लीप पर्सनफिकेशन यूज पर्सनफिकेशन बाई हेलन किलर शी लाइक्स दी कॉयल्स एंड लाइन्स on the soft surfaces of flowers which are 
मायकल और वंडरफुल हैपनिंग इन नेचर दैट वी कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन शी फील्स द मूवमेंट्स ऑफ मूवमेंट्स ऑफ बर्ड्स एंड फील्स वाटर रशिंग थ्रू हर फिंगर्स शी फील्स द चेंजेस ऑफ सीजन विथ स्पेशल डिलाइट ऑल दिस इज मिस्ड बाई पीपल इन जनरल कहते हैं आम तौर पर लोगों से तो ये सब कुछ रह जाता है कहते मुझे तो एक खास खुशी महसूस होती है ये मौसमों को तब्दील होते हुए देखते हुए लास्ट पैराग्राफ इज इफ आई व दी प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ अ यूनिवर्सिटी आई वुड सेट अप अ कोर्स कॉल्ड हाउ टू यूज अवर आईज योर आईज द प्रोफेसर वुड ट्राई टू शो इज पीपल्स हाउ दी कुड एड जॉय टू देयर लाइफ बाय रियली सींग वट पास इज अनोटिस्ड बिफोर दैम ही वुड ट्राई टू वेकन देयर डोरमैन एंड स्लगिश फैकुलटीज कहती है अगर तो मैं यूनिवर्सिटी की सदर बन जाऊं तो मैं कैसे एक लाजमी कोर्स में मुकर करूंगी एक वो लाजमी करूंगी देखूंगी कि वो स्टूडेंट्स को ये दिखाने की कोशिश करूंगी कि प्रोफेसर दिखाएगा कि वो अपनी जो ज़िंदगी हैं उनको कैसे देखने से जवान जो है जो इनके सामने गुजरता है सब कुछ बग़ैर तो जो हासिल की वो गुजर जाता है कहती है अपनी खुशियों में इजाफा कर सकते हैं वो इनकी जो हरकत है उसको भी समझ सकते हैं Uh, she says that uh, if she becomes the president of a university she would establish a special course in how to use your eyes the professors in the university would make the students observe and feel the beauties of nature to feel happier thus they would also awaken in them means activate and uh, in their inactive inner qualities and feelings established that is a verb and its synonym is set up compulsory that is an adjective and its synonym is that must be done lives that is a noun and its synonym is uh, plural of lives zindagi by really seeing that is a verb and its synonym is, synonym is by seeing and feeling the true beauty of senses all scenes passes that is a verb and its synonym is goes or moves before us unnoticed that is a verb and its synonym is which goes off their eyes without being observed or seen by them uh, meaningfully awaken that is a verb and its synonym is wake up dormant that is a, an adject adjective and its synonym is sleeping sluggish that is a, uh, an adjective and uh, its synonym is inactive uh, faculties that is a noun and its synonym is powers abilities so students now we start block questions how can you define the phrase eat drink and be merry answer is that the phrase eat eat drink and be merry means to live each day with taste vigor happiness and merry making means helen keller condemns people who only want enjoyment they are not serious and do not think about high principles if they know and feel that their life is very short they can understand the true meaning of life so next question is why is the arising of sun sun so special for the authors answer is that the, the arising of sun was so special for the authors because it can bring the dawn of new day and uh, which uh, gives a new hope to dejected fellows so in this uh, question dawn is a great introduction to the day Helen Keller feels the feels the beauty of the sun and the scenes under it. Dawn comes in the company of fresh air, and the first rays of sun welcomes everyone, rich or poor. Question number three is: What does the revelation of beauty means to her? Answer is that the revelation of beauty means to have glimpses of beauty which is apparent of a person who has sight as well as insight. So, students. at dawn many new and beautiful things come before the sun shows us many new scenes and things under it if we enjoy dawn our whole day will become pleasant and meaningful for us question number 4 is why has she no time to waste her uh, in longings answer is that she has no time to waste it in regret of longings because there is so much to see and appreciate in the world she is an optimistic woman means uh, she has no time to waste on thoughts about the joys that she has missed now she wants to make a full use of her eyes to watch people nature and different activities question number 5 is what is the meaning of phrase thrilling and unending drama 
आंसर इज दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस फ्रेज आ थ्रिलिंग एंड एंड एंडिंग ड्रामा इज दैट दैट द चेंज ऑफ सीजन इज लाइक कंटिन्यूस ड्रामा इट कंटिन्यूज विद द चेंज ऑफ स्प्रिंग इन टू आटम एंड आटम इन टू स्प्रिंग शी फील्स ऑल दिस विद द टच ऑफ हर हैंड्स सो स्टूडेंट्स शी फील्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ ईच सीजन देर इज सो मच इन नेचर दैट वी कैन गो ऑन इंजॉइंग इट फ्रॉम ट्रीज टू हिल्स to flowers to fountains to uh, grass to the changing seasons we can throw on shifting go on shifting question number 6 says explain the difference between facilities facilities and opportunities facilities mean relaxation given to a person for a particular person and opportunities means the time given to a person to prove himself means a chance doing for something that is opportunity and facilities that something that we can use for comfort okay next we start comprehension questions who was helen killer answer is that helen killer was a woman after on illness she was left blind and deaf at the age of 19 months mean 2 years yet she became a great author she was 20 years old first deaf and blind graduate of perkins school for blind she was born in america in 1880s and died in 1968 1968 she was a great writer traveler social worker she lost her eye sight and hearing power in early childhood she studied with effort and became a lecturer question number 2 is describe the thought express the author in first paragraph answer is that the thought expressed by authors that we should live each day with gentleness vigor and keenness we should not follow the motto eat drink and be merry in this question in this question she, uh, she says that uh, the writer says that living people should sometimes think that they may die the next day uh, they would then understand the true standards and value of life question number 3 is that what makes you feel the author is sad and depressed answer is that the author is sad and depressed that the people with sight see little even though she can see much better than people with sight she wants to say that people with sight do not go deep into the things they have just a surface look so the writer is very unhappy about her blindness she has no hope for getting sight before death she is so sad to find seeing people not enjoying nature question number 4 is that how do you get an impression that helen killer was a great admirer of nature answer is that she was a great admirer of nature she admired dawn the pageant of seasons and trees she used to visit nature and walk in the woods uh, whistles of plants revealed nature to her so students helen killer liked trees leaves plants flowers as she touched them she felt felt birds shaking and singing in trees she felt the flow of water soft draws and charms of season but alas she could not see all these scenes in nature question number 5 is people who are deprived of sight not devoid of imagination discuss it answer is that the authors of this lesson is not only blind but also uh, deaf instead she had better imagination than the people can see her views on nature and people have proved it so students helen killer could not see she imagined but she imagined the beauty of things by touching them she felt and thought about the beauties of nature and life it was her uh, imaginative power and high feelings that made her write about what she could not see question number 6 says to me the pageant of seasons in unending drama comment answer is that the face tells that pageant of seasons in an unending drama the Uh, unity of change of seasons never ends it is endless and also law of nature so soon helen killer saw in her imagination beautiful scenes this was the pageant of season that beautiful scenes of different seasons coming before her this was the pageant of seasons 
but she uh, felt the changes in most uh, seasons their hurt and coldness the fine smells of spring and the dryness of autumn these all uh, are feelings she mixed with her thinking thank you allah hafiz subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika